Lommel in the books, probably the best GP of your career? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah right now, um, the difference from uh, my last podium in Portugal was that the track was dry. Uh, so yeah, happy to show that I can ride also on dry tracks and show my ability in the sand. Uh, so yeah, I would say one of my best weekends ever, yeah. And in the second moto, when you were right at the front, I think you were leading. Yeah. What was going through your mind? Because I'm sure at that stage you knew that you were going to win the overall if you stayed there. Yeah, uh, well I knew and uh, to be honest it gave me a lot of strength and energy. And uh, I was ready to put in some hot, hot laps to, to break the, the, the mentality of the other riders. Uh, they still had to pass Sasha and Sasha was not easy to pass sometimes. So yeah, I was just trying to make a gap for myself, a little bit of a cushion. Um, but yeah, then the bike uh, had a small issue, so the, that was over pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with uh, finishing second overall. Can't, can't and obviously you've run races at the AMX level, but I can't really remember you leading an MX2 race, correct me if I'm wrong, but what did it feel like being right at the front and battling with those guys? Did, do you feel like you belong there? Um, well, I, I start to believe it more and more. Once I do it more and more, I will believe it more and more. Um, but yeah, I led a couple of laps and uh, to be honest, leading now was one of the best times leading. Usually I get a bit stressed because now, now I'm in front, I have to keep the pace and that kind of stuff. And now I was just doing my own thing and just feeling it. And uh, if they would pass me, they would pass me. And uh, if not, they're not. And uh, somehow I just had a lot of speed this weekend. And uh, yeah, made a gap. So I was uh, surprised a bit by myself. And the track yesterday for Lommel, I don't think was that rough. But today was Lommel, as we know it. Very, very rough and bumpy. Yeah. Did you enjoy yeah, the track? Yeah, it was a big difference already from Saturday time practice to the qualifying race. And uh, also from qualifying race Saturday to Sunday was a big difference. Um, track was pretty fast, and uh, yeah, to Sunday it was a lot slower. I think even like 12 seconds a lap. So yeah, it was just uh, back to old school Lomo fighting the bumps. And uh, yesterday in the morning it was just a casual sand track, not that deep, fast riding, fast pace. And uh, yeah, Sunday was just fighting. And obviously during winter is, is, a, is the time where a lot of riders make up speed, make up fitness, but you did not have a pre-season. Can you just remind me of your winter and how much time you actually had on the bike before Argentina and what um, injury you had? Well, I had a shoulder injury since Lomo last year, uh, sorry, since Arnhem last year, and uh, managed to finish the season. Um, got the operation straight away after the season. And, uh, it was quite a long one, shoulder is quite complex, so it took about uh, three months. Usually it should take six months, but it did, uh, I made it work to, to six to three months. And then, um, yeah, just did some physical training. Then finally in January, like the third week of January, went back on the bike in Sardinia. And then the third day I crashed and broke my back. So yeah, that was a big setback. Um, and I would say, yeah, back on the couch, sitting out the back. Um, and uh, managed to do about a week or two of riding before uh, Argentina, so I was not fit at all in Argentina. And uh, yeah, used the season to get myself into shape. And uh, yeah, that's never easy because I didn't do much testing at all, so I had to do that as well during the season. But yeah, I uh, think the team and I managed it pretty well. And what were the expectations going to Argentina? I mean. The first few rounds, I thought you were pretty good, considering you had no off-season. Were, were, you, were you happy with where you were, considering? Uh, to be honest, the expectation was just to take a good start and uh, to, to try my best and uh, yeah, just also get fitness from the racing itself. So yeah, just you know, start, have a good start, save front as long as I can until I get tired or something happens and just get used to the pace. Um, but yeah, that's it. Basically. And you're improving on hard pack all the time, but I would say you're still not as good in hard pack as you are in sand. Is that the goal, to, to ride lots of hard pack and try and raise your level there? Because if you could be the same in both, you'd be a complete rider then? Um, I would say I'm already quite a complete rider. Uh, hard pack, I'm pretty good. Um, like in Pochental, I was pretty consistent all weekend with fifth, all weekend long. Um, tracks like Loket are a bit more difficult to me. But uh, yeah, I think uh, if I had the same uh, feeling that I have this weekend coming in, I would do also better. Um, 
but yeah, I would, I would say it's pretty close to Sandlands and the Halfback, so yeah, I not there yet, but uh, pretty close to be complete by it. And just plans on next year, I'm not sure if you have a contract for Yamaha or not? I have an option for next year, and in a couple of days they will tell me if okay. I stay or not, okay. and uh, hopefully I will, yeah. and I'm happy with Yamaha and the team, so yeah. we'll see. And obviously the goal will be to have a full winter, if you can be this fast without one, hopefully next year. I think it'll be your last year in the class. You next can... year will be my last year, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, we'll try to make everything uh, possible for the next year. Even trying to, to get into it right now, already for next year, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and just on MXGP, there's been a lot about rider safety this year, with track prep uh, and obviously medical things happening. Just what's your perspective on it all, on, on what, they could, what they do well and what they could improve on? Um, like I said, there were some blocks around the track this weekend to stop cutting. That's pretty dangerous because sometimes we just lose the bike and, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, something can happen. And if you are just in front of that block, you'll get just catapulted off, which is dangerous. Um, <clears throat> I feel like they have to be just a bit more... Um, Like you know, like that, on it, uh, just to say, uh, hey, you went off track there, and you kept the throttle on, you get a penalty because right now they don't. Um, and also last year there was some uh, stuff going on with a couple of riders that cut the first cor in the first lap a couple of corners and gain positions and not get penalized. So that was uh, something. Um, and I would say uh, the medical stuff um, on track is good. Um, but uh, yeah, I would like to see uh, off track that it gets you know guided as well because right now the riders will get exploded off track and then just uh, they will leave them to their fate, which is okay in Belgium or Netherlands. But if you are in Argentina or Indonesia, you are pretty scared what's going to happen, especially if you like break a leg or something. So yeah, that's um, not a nice feeling to ride with if you are uh, at those countries. Perfect. Thanks for your time.